Okay, so favourite queen, Cal Spellman, two stars of the show are here. Um, Cal has played this before and generally starts laughing before even the clips, <laughs> even the clips begin. <laughs> and Faye is probably, well, I would say probably the, one of the most excited people I've ever seen yeah. about playing this game. Yeah. Okay, so what you do is you take water as much as you can in your mouths. It's a three-way yeah, with... Faye, Cal, Here we go. and Chris. Yeah. Are you okay. ready? Okay, okay. Don't be so funny leading into it, Scott. Oh, well, I'm sorry, that's fair. <laughs> I'll everyone try. All right? Everyone all right about the cold sores? Mm. Oh, Faye. Mm. Yeah. Okay, right. First, we're going over to the open golf. And this commentator sounds like he's had a particularly pleasing start to the tournament. A really good start. Certainly can't complain about a 69. I mean, you, you can't really. What a great start to the day's play. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Quite a good start. Certainly can't complain about a 69. There we are. <laughs> it's a good number. It is. Yeah. More water, please. Okay. Next, we're going over to the interview on Channel 4. Now, over the past few weeks, students up and down the country have been finding out their A-level and GCSE grades and, and working out exactly what they want to do next. Although, I imagine, no matter what grades you receive in your exams... What? <laughs> <laughs> why, why did that happen? Why was the premature spraying then? Oh, the face! It's got to look at the faces! I got, yeah, I've just got fame in my peripheral just, <laughs> just bulging. The face isn't good. It's sort of twitching as well. Yeah. Before, like, yeah. Sort of little cheek switching. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's quite hard. So, yeah, if you got your exam results, I imagine no matter what grade you receive, nothing could prepare you for an interview question like this if you're going to an interview soon. How often do you update this? Uh, I update it on about two week to monthly sort of oh, process. Wow. So, so you'll be five fives and sixes very soon. Well, I was going to say, you're going to have to kind of <laughs> increase your scoring then. And then, like, if, if, yeah, so anything that improves, obviously I'll update it and then... Did you ever knock yourself off? Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Oh, no, not as popular as I thought. Mm. OK. Sometimes they just don't work, you know? You don't have to laugh. Mm. Next, one of our favourite clips from the last few... <laughs> Sorry. What's happened there? I'm just, I'm wetting myself. Yes, in. that does. <laughs> yeah. If you've never done it before, it tends yeah. to go more on you. Yeah. Try and spray it out, I, Faye. Spray it out. Just midpoint. I'm oh, no. not managing. Oh. Okay. okay, another one of our favourite clips now from the last few weeks. It's over to BBC Local Radio and it's Paul Miller on BBC Oxford. And we joined Paul describing the chaos that was caused after uh, a recent flood in his hometown. I mean, just when his next door neighbour didn't think his week could get any worse. Ooh. And the, the gentleman next door had lost all his ridge tiles. Oh, no. House across the road had lost most of their ridge tiles as well. He also, um, uh, his back door was smashed in. <laughs> 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 I hope he's okay. You're <laughs> you like a drowned rat. No. Oh, Cal, that's not very nice. <laughs> so is As that? I say, oh. he's so good with middle-aged women. <laughs> <laughs> it was always more the hair. Okay. That was my worry. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get some more water, please. And we are going to Steve right now in the afternoon on BBC Radio 2. Now, where the songs are playing on the radio, we generally, well, we have a bit of a gossip in that and even chat about things that we were... Uh, why are you spitting at each other now? <laughs> My God, job sounds so sort of rubbish. My job sounds rubbish? <laughs> just like, we have a little gossip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, one day we need, we, need to do, we need to do the show that we do off air, on air, we kind of did it, um, on the lolophon. Yeah, okay, I d did make my, sound, my, my job sound a lot more rubbish than it actually is. But anyway, over on Radio 2, Water, turns out they get up to all sorts when the songs are playing. That was me doing Enya. <laughs> Steve right there, impersonating Irish singer Enya. That was me doing Enya. Okay, good. Steve. 
<laughs> okay, next, it's over to Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid. As you know, Good Morning Britain is totally live and, um, well, it's some, you know, it's easy to make mistakes on live television. Someone's had a little slip of the tongue here and um, looks like Susanna has given out a, a completely different website to the, <laughs> to the one she intended. You can yeah. find out all the details about our shortlisted mums, including Rose, in our Mum in a Million competition. All the details are on our website, itv.com. <laughs> <laughs> what was that website? Uh, yeah. It was... Uh... itv.com. <laughs> don't, visit, don't visit that one, please. That's, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Has anyone checked that website? No, no and please, please don't, don't, especially not at work. Especially not at work. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine now people in the office. No. Water, please. Okay. Now, this is one of our all-time classics. Mm. We've saved it for you guys. It's over on BBC Radio 4. And there's an adventurous old lady who has a surprising way to pass the time while descending a mountain. She did. The, the longest journey she did was 25 miles in one day across a mountain pass. But they did realise that actually it was quite unsafe going down on a donkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying the game, Faye? <laughs> You're loving it, Faye. I, I is, feel I'm the wettest. Is it wetter than you expected? <laughs> but, like, can I just say, <laughs> Kel's fringe... It looks like it's just been blow dried. Right, well, it does, yeah. Mine, not yeah, so much. Yeah, not so much. No. Not so much. I like the yeah. mascara. Yeah. And <laughs> now we're going over to BBC Radio Solent, and it's Julian Clegg's show on the South Coast. Jeez, now, there's a very good reason why we don't really do phone-ins anymore on Radio One, mm. and. Um, I think this clip sums up why. We're asking today, after yesterday's torrential rain, the wettest you ever got. Um, Sarah in East Cow says, Hi, Julian, I got soaked through to my underwear at an Elton John concert. The puddles were ankle deep. <laughs> oh, dear. That's why we don't do them anymore. That's why I don't go to an Elton John concert. And finally, one of our favourite innuendo bingo clips. Let's go for this one, yeah? Okay, let's oh, go for like, it. Right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've been holding back. That was straight in the face before, Ooh. sorry. It's Marie. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Kel, sometimes you just can't control that mouth of yours. <laughs> don't. <laughs> there was an innuendo there from Chris. Right, <laughs> okay. I didn't spot it. Watch, please. <laughs> Now, this so, is from a, it's from a really old episode of a TV show called Murder, She Wrote. Now, as we join the story... <laughs> right, oh, they're just spraying for no reason now. What's happened? Chris, can you explain what's going on? <laughs> I can't. You, OK. Now, as we join the story, an older detective has some really important advice to share with his younger colleague. Lads, take note. Jessica, you did real well. Sure, you solved the murder, sure, but nothing beats that warm all over feeling you get from nailing another man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that, everybody, was favourite plea and oh, Kel Spellman well, on his innuendo well, bingo and what a brilliant one it was. Make sure you watch the new series of Cold Feet and thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.